A very welcome to you. We are here with 15th of July's God blessing. Supreme Father wants us to become a constant yogi and ever pure. He wants us to become as powerful as Him, as pure as Him, as divine as Him, so that we are somebody who is looked upon by on the people, other souls. So this is what is Godly blessing all about today, and let's get into the details of it word by word. May you be an embodiment of power and become worthy of worship. That means other people worship us for the way we have been given or bestowed with qualities, virtues, values and purity by God. And that is only possible when we are having a connection with God Himself. Become worthy of worship by bidding farewell to all the vices, lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, jealousy should be totally taken away and only then can we become worthy of worship. And become a constant yogi and constantly pure. All of your children receive two main blessings from the Father. One is, may you be a constant yogi, that means always have connection and loveful connection with me. And may you be pure. Purity is the highest form of divinity. Purity just doesn't mean brahmacharya, it also means having pure intentions, pure feelings towards others. That means the whole world. Those who experience these blessings in their lives constantly are not yogis for two or four hours. But they are constant yogis. That means while walking, while thinking about things, they are always constantly talking to God, the Creator. They are not just they are not just pure sometimes, but are constantly pure and have bid farewell to all the vices. It's not that when you go to the center or when you go to Madhuban, Mount Ob, only that time you are remaining pure. And when you come back home, then you have all the worldly things coming over. You have work, you have business, and you then say that. Oh, it's not easy to be pure in this kind of situation. I have to be smarter, I have to over smart, I have to be manipulative, I have to do things. That's not purity then. God says, It wouldn't be that they sometimes become angry or have attachment. That means when they are meditating, they are pure, but at some times they become angry or they have got attachments. Any vice will not allow you to become an embodiment of remembrance. That means if we got greed, then greed is taking over our remembrance with our connection with God. If you got lust, then lust is taking over our connection with God and self. Somebody else's visions are coming then. Ego means somebody else is being remembered. I want to prove that I'm better or I'm, I'm more superior than that person. So obviously that person will be coming in your mind. So we cannot have connection with God. Yoga will be disturbed with God. Then God says, only such yogis who are embodiments of power and those who remain constantly pure become worthy of worship who are constantly, who are embodiments of power and those who remain constantly pure become worthy of worship. So we receive the power by having connection with God and by using the power we can have connection with God. Which are these powers? We have spoken about in a couple of uh, blessings back and you can go over and you can understand those eight powers of the soul. Once we use those powers, we automatically can have a connection with God. And by having a connection with God, we can automatically have divinity, purity and the powers within us. So this is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. You're most welcome to learn this beautiful art. Om Shanti Mills.